Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be some free roam gameplay with the Thor Love and Thunder MCU suit for Thor. Can't lie, this one's actually pretty sweet. I know a lot of people didn't really like this design, but the more that we've seen it in the behind the scenes photos for the film and just in general through the trailers, the more that I dig it. I like the colorization here, and overall, I think it's a good suit for Thor. But hey, if you're excited for Thor Love and Thunder, if you're checking it out this weekend, well, then scroll scroll down right now hit that thumbs up button share your excitement with me if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more gameplay with these mcu suits that they're going to inevitably add into marvel's avengers i got you covered on that so subscribe turn on those notifications you'll be immediately notified when a video goes live. And yeah, what else really can I say about this? Honestly, of course, we all wish that we can get Stormbreaker, but I do hope that they inevitably add the Love and Thunder look for Jane, which I think we're all expecting that they're going to do, that she has the cracked Mjolnir because that would be an awesome touch. Stormbreaker, unfortunately, would just cause too many issues for the developers, and it's a bit of a hassle for them to kind of reanimate all of Thor's moves with having Stormbreaker in mind, but a cracked Mjolnir is just a design. You're not changing anything besides the look of the hammer. If we can get the MCU Captain America shield and even the damage shield from the first Avenger, well then I think that Crystal Dynamic can manage this. So do the right thing. Don't make me spend $14 without going all the way. Because some people have actually pointed out that the hair on this Thor skin is actually accurate to the movie. He even has one of those singular braids in his hair as well. So that's pretty cool, but honestly, I would have loved to see the helmet. I think it looks awful in the movie and the CGI is not great, but when you see it in promotional images or concept art, I do think it looks good and it probably would have looked pretty badass in this game. I mean, it looks crazy cool in Fortnite, which already has Jane Foster in there as well, but that's besides the point. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys with the gameplay let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and also try to keep it non-spoilers on thor love and thunder some people haven't seen it yet myself included so i'm gonna be very careful of the comment section and you should too if you haven't seen the movie drop a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new to the channel i've been caboose and enjoy the gameplay is in the vicinity. I've sent their location to your hut.
Neutralize the watchdog's unit. Hunter is down. Excellently done. I've located captive inhumans. They're being kept in portable cells. You'll have to break them out. Work your magic. You're safe now. <laughs> 